Hi guys, welcome to a new episode of Fishtails and today it's really exciting because I'm in my favorite town and this is Caracas, it's in the north of Spain and here it's all about cooking and today I'm going to cook together with Rafael the most amazing paella, paella with prawns. Can you believe this? This is Spain and it's raining. Okay, anyhow, there you see Can Rafa and it's really my favorite place here in Caracas and it's owned by uh, the Martin Faixo family, they have a beautiful vineyard on top of the hill. Uh, they have two restaurants here. And Rafael once taught me how to make this perfect dish. Hi, good to see you. How are you? Good, how are you? Very good. Good, good. So yeah. this is the big man. He's my favorite paella maker here in this town. We call arroz da gamba. It means rice of prawns. I know paella from Valencia, yeah. right? So yeah. this is uh, this is yeah, the basic it. paella, maybe, mm. and you're going to make it a slightly yeah. different one. Yeah, yeah, it's a really different uh, from the paella from Valencia, but because uh, here we have uh, what we have. So the fishermen from here, they use what they they catch from the yeah. day, you yeah. know. And this so is what you in use in your paella. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, let's start. Yeah. So what can I do, uh, Rafael? Uh, well, now we will start sure. to, to cut the onions. One onion? Always cook the onions during long time. Yeah, long time. It's, 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 it's for hours, right? Yeah, here in, in our restaurant we always have a, like a big, big pan uh, with a lot of onion inside and we cook the onions for uh, about five hours or like this. If and then it's like soft, it has this bite, it is sweet and this is the base for the rest of the pie, yeah. 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 So we wait, we take a glass of wine. Yeah, of course. We have four hours. I'm really in love with this village and with this family. I mean, they make not only beautiful olive oil, they make beautiful wines. So this is a pick up all, right? So we use it also in the sofrito yeah. later on. Um, but first we take, of course, a glass. So now we're going to fake it. Rafael woke up very early this morning <laughs> and this early. is the, the end result. It's soft, it's juicy, you see the beautiful color. Um, the perfect base for the very best paella. So now you prep the sofrito, right? Yes. So we I've cut your pepper. garlic. And we will uh, cook the, the garlic a little bit. Yeah. And when it, when it will be already cooked, we will put a little bit of parsley. We always use flat parsley, which gives a more deeper, uh, delicious taste to the dish. So we have like one tablespoon. Oh, look at these beautiful colors. You can smell it already. And yes. the next and step. And now we will put the, the heads of the prawn. Okay. Guys, this is so beautiful because these are wild water prawns caught just here in front of the coast. Okay. It's a simple action. You just take off the, the head and you put what's inside. I think that the sole of the prawn, it's in the, in the, in the head. head. So we are going to put the sole in the sofrito. Sounds perfect. So you can smell and the aromas that, that it has. Wow. So here we have the squid and Rafael already cut it into small pieces. So we add all these small pieces into the, into the sofrito, right? And every time that you put a new ingredient into the pan, you can heat, uh, you can heat it, okay? So, so you bring it to high yeah. heat to give it more power yeah. and then you and slow then down you slow again down. and okay. simmer it. So we have Added the squid, the sofrito is about tomato. Yeah. So that's the, the next the one. Tomato, I... But before the tomato, we will put a little bit of white wine. Good, good. Okay. So you use the same, of course, right? Yeah. Pick of up course. A, one tomato, right? Yeah, one tomato. You could use canned tomatoes, but this is so much better, right, Rafael? Yeah. It gives the moisture, gives a bit of, bit of taste. Mm -hmm. Good. So actually this is a, a mixture of all the concentrates of the ingredients, right? Yeah. Added with the olive oil. Look, now, yeah. can you see the, the olive oil? It makes... Yeah. But when you have water, you don't have this, you boil. So it's all evaporated, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and it now... smells perfect. So these are the onions we have prepped for like four hours, actually, Rafael. Um, this early morning. How many tablespoons, uh, chef? Two, with two spoons. Delicious. So this is paprika, yeah. but it's not hot, okay? So we put all the sofrito to the, to the side yeah. of the pan to roast it. To roast it. Like this, it will have more flavor, okay? 
So we take the rice. And this is important, this is the bomba. So this is a short grain, which really absorbs a lot of liquid. So all these juices and flavors come into this beautiful piece of, uh, of rice. We use one cup per person. And this is cup number two. Shall I get the stock? Uh, yeah. So the fish stock. So we use hot fish stock. We use two cups of rice and we use a bit more than the double, four and a half cup of fish stock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we just take the stock, we put it inside with the rice and you don't touch it until, until the end. We let it simmer for like 17 till 20 minutes. Actually, if you ever made risotto, it's the same thing. Um, the rice will be al dente, ready after this amount of time. Let us know if you like this video and press on the button with the thumbs up. If you have any questions, if you would let, let us know your pile, your style, leave your comments, your questions in the box below. And don't forget to subscribe. This is the last step. Um, this pile is almost finished, so yeah. we can add the shrimps, right? The prawns. Yeah. And they're raw, but they, they, they cook so quickly that this is really at the very end. So we cover. This is yeah. traditional. Yeah, this right? is traditional. It's what we have when we are in the countryside, you know. Actually, it's like a lid. Half of the, the, the prong, which is laying on the paella, on the rice, it's going to be cooked. The top side, uh, it's cooked not as fast, so therefore we put this newspaper. And uh, it's now time to eat it. Good. Great, great. Wow, 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 wow. So this is my favorite paella, and I'm proud that I can well, serve it today to you. Rafael told me three years ago, I fell in love with this paella, um, and now you can make it your own. Thank you for watching this Fishy Friday, and uh, see you soon. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, Rafael.